So this video is going to cover the repair that this sign went through. I, I did give the history in part one. It hung in drums only in Vancouver, British Columbia from uh, the early 70s as far as I can tell up until uh, about 1984 uh, when I brought it home because it was uh, it was thrown out and I just couldn't bear to see it gone. Now it's been restored so this video is going to show you a little bit about it. Uh, I, re I replaced the um, the tube inside, the fluorescent tube, as well as the starter for the tube. Uh, they don't have a ballast, they just have a transformer and a little starter that was uh, burning out. Uh, so I replaced that and I also did uh, a methylene chloride uh, welding on the, the surface here and it came out pretty good. Um, again, as I mentioned in the first part, uh, the methylene chloride welding would give you less of a shadow. You'll still see the cracks when the sign is illuminated, but it gives you less of a shadow from the back. Uh, otherwise, I would have had to put a reinforcing material on the back of the faceplate and, and attach that with adhesive, and I would have gotten, wouldn't have gotten a, a pleasing uh, light, lighted effect or lit effect from this sign. So it worked out great. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I didn't know when I was starting this repair whether this was going to be a success or a failure. It wasn't a complete success because the one component of, the, of, of this sign that I thought I wasn't going to have any issue with was the clock because the clock was running and the clock is running but it's not keeping time. Um, what's happening is uh, it it's, uh, runs for a little bit and it stops. It runs for, it's like it's getting hung up inside so it may just need to be cleaned. I'm not going to do that. Um, to actually replace the whole clock mechanism on the inside of this is a piece of cake. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to be putting this on auction on eBay. Uh, so if you uh, follow my Facebook page, uh, which is In Time With Music, or else you can follow uh, my eBay channel here, uh, In Time With Music on eBay. But uh, if you watch my, my eBay store, also called In Time With Music, uh, you'll find this pop up for auction uh, sometime between now, which is February 2nd and February 10th, uh, probably within the next couple of days. And that's it. I'm going to take you through the repair process. Thanks for watching.
these are uh, canine insulin needles, syringes. These needles don't last very long in the methylene chloride, I tell you that much. That's okay. We're not looking for longevity. Just results. And once this is welded, We're a little close here. Might have to do this again, I don't know. Like again, this is not a do it yourself video. This is a uh, basically a inexperienced sign reno. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wedge these up. I'm going to use business cards. Wedge this up. Just, I don't want to wedge it up too much because it will crack open the front, right? I just want the, um, the angle to connect the dots. I might even use a clamp. I don't have a clamp, but I do have a weight, which is good. I'm not going to put it on there because it'll screw it up, but uh, that's a 10 pound weight. And it'll give me something push this up against. Just, just to let them love each other. Now I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and give you a little bit of a close-up. Silly to put the radio there, but it's just a that radio is just here for repairs. Uh, it, it's just a weight, it's a dead weight. So there you have it, and that little blue spot. Zoom in on the blue spot. That's going to become our next project, and and hopefully, I'm going to do a little experiment with this. We're going to make a patch with this and with this universal tint. Bing, bang, boom. So we're going to have to make a, a piece to fit in there. Now it's not big enough that we have to fabricate a piece, you know, externally and then uh, fit it in. We can actually make the piece right into the faceplate and for that we need some chemicals. Okay so here it is the next day um, and uh, everything's dry. I let it dry overnight. Um, as far as the uh, methylene chloride goes uh, this is an instant drying product but it doesn't develop its full strength for about 24 hours. Um, so you can't put things into service for a little while. Now just to recap what we did uh, yesterday was the, the plan was to, f to find a a tint for this hole and um, and this uh, LePage's super glue uh, didn't tint, didn't accept any of the pigment so that got scrapped and uh, this is number 16 methylene chloride which is just a, um, a thicker more syrupy uh, uh, viscosity than the uh, the stuff that comes in the bottle, which is just like water. Um, so it did take a tint uh, quite well. Um, I didn't uh, uh, use this one because I didn't really like the way it was it was uh, uh, taking the tint, the pigment. So that's the number sixteen methylene chloride, which was rejected, and uh, the winner. Uh, for the for the um, patch 
was this weld bond. Uh, this is really great stuff. Uh, it's called weld bond universal adhesive. Um, sticks to just about anything and it dries nice and clear. Uh, and uh, it's water based. Uh, so it tended to take the, um, the pigment a lot better. And you can see that the uh, color of the, the sign and uh, the, 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 managed, uh, the, the tint color that I managed to get from this is the PTC Pro Tint that I use. Uh, this is a professional painter's tint. And um, it, uh, it, this pigment will uh, um, dissolve into almost anything oil products, solvent based and water based products. Now, so what we're going to do now, be, before I uh, get into the uh, electrics of, of this, um, I'm going to remove this to see how it looks from the front and I'll give you a closer look. Now the patch here, um, the color is a little bit darker, but 99% of this patch is going to be painted over. See this whole area, the only part of that patch you're going to see on the left hand side is on the other side of my chisel. And then on the right hand side it's going to be completely painted red. So very, very little will be visible. That is really messed up. So I gotta fix this. I gotta turn the uh, camera off while I fix the straight in the Ah! Uh -uh. 